Hello everyone, this embodied pair of fans here again, also known as Don Lucio, for the collection video for 2023. It is now the 19th, 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 I cannot speak. The 19th of January 2024. Uh, so far this year I've, I've sadly only bought one figure. But anyways, I have a spreadsheet with every figure I bought and lost each year. Because I'm a psychopath like that. I should basically be the next Joker. So first I'm going to begin with the losses. Because there are some figures that I bought and went straight to fodder. So first of all, a figure that I don't have where I'm currently right now. Because right now I'm not uh, home, I'm away from for uni. It's a figure of the dog from a, the movie with the dogs that I think Pixar made. That I haven't watched, but I have a, the dog. And it showed up somewhere, I'm sure of it. I'm going to post, put a picture here if I can find it. Then we also have Black Suit Batman. Black Suit Batman was the first Batman figure that you saw in the Guardians. He's currently dismembered. He's not like he used to be. Uh, because I've made a new and better, in every way, a Batman figure. First of all, let me show you what happened with the old Batman. This is kind of a sneak peek into 2024 and the future of uh, the Epic Frame universe. But uh, this, this used to be the Batman, of course, with a lot more scope. And if you see this, you might recognize the colors, uh, metallic and red. I'm not going to tell you what it is, because I'm trying to keep it under wraps as much as I can. But if you manage to get it, good job, but don't tell anyone, because you're a smart boy, and I'm proud of you. Next up, we lost the Bubu Shantai version 2 figure, the one uh, used in season 3 of Shantai. This is all that's left. Yeah, that, that's literally all. I, it, I just, it started to get loose uh, during filming, uh, so uh, I had to make a new, I, new one. I did make a new one, and then I tried to use some parts of it. Like the other, uh, the, other, the other arms and legs and shit, and I'm going to have to bleep that again. To improve other figures, but they broke again because this is a very old figure. I cannot find a date, but it is really old. So, yeah, luckily I have a new one. Right, this figure might not count because it's still whole. Um, the Harley Quinn version 1 figure, let me adjust my lamp. There we go. The first version of the Harley Quinn figure, it was... It, actually, it was quite bad even when I made it. Um, it's still whole, but it's counted as not a figure anymore because it was in the fodder bag. Problems? Well, first of all, the aesthetic, it's not that good looking. It's too bulky for what I want from a Harley Quinn. And it's actually taller than the Batman figure by like half... I don't know what an inch is. By like, one or two centimeters. Luckily, I made the new one pretty quick, and that's the one I used in Shantai. Initially, it was this one, but uh, then I made the second one, and I had to basically reshoot some parts to get that figure into the movie. And I'm glad I did, because this was very big and very unfitting with the rest of the cast, and just not a good figure. I mean, the, f the feet are loose, and the arms are very tight. And I had... Uh, Oh, the head actually stays on quite well, but yeah, it's not uh, not the best looking head. This year I also started buying a lot of Marvel Legends because this year is, uh, was the first year, or last year, 2023, was the first year that I had a job. Yay! And of course, because the money started coming in and uh, during the summer I stayed uh, home with my parents. Right now I am not staying home with my parents and my wallet is feeling the consequences. I bought a lot of figures and I bought pretty much the entire Ultron wave. Not the whole, but most of it. This is Kate Bishop without the head because the head I used for another figure that I'm going to show you. This is what's left. I don't know what to do with it. But it's good fodder, it's good. It's uh, well articulated, it looks good, has a lot of texture, so who knows, maybe I'll find uh, something to do with it. The only problem is that uh, Haley Steinfeld is quite tall, and the figure shows that. Haley Steinfeld is, I think, 173, and I'm at 177 as a boy, as a man, male, as a masculine homo sapiens. So, uh, yeah, that's quite tall. I don't have any problem. I, I love Hailey, 
but it is tall and it's uh, I might have to cut on the here on the ties if I want to make this work in, uh, with the scale of my other figures. Now here I would show you the figure, but there's literally nothing left of left of it, nothing, nada. It's the Mary Jane figure that I also used for um, Anna Maria. Yeah, they are both gone. Because they pretty much fell apart. I also don't have, but I have bought the Miss Marvel figure. I don't have it because I turned it into another figure. Because that's what I do. I just can't keep these disembodied hands to stay in one place and do nothing. They just always have to work, always have, always have to keep them occupied. I also bought, of course, the She-Hulk from the Disney Plus Wave. Uh, she doesn't have neither a head or the the shoes that tennis shoes, the whatever those were, uh, because I used them on other figure. On the same figure, I used both the feet and the head. And yeah, once again, this is a good body. I could use this if it wasn't so tall, because well, it's She-Hulk. Of course, it is tall, but it doesn't help me. The Superior Spider-Man figure is also gone. Well, not gone. Uh, I turned it after I broke my uh, SH Figures Custom Spider-Man, which was a mistake. I had... I needed a new Spider-Man, so I, I created this one, basically repainted the Superior Spider-Man body. So I think... Is this the Pizza Spidey body mold? I'm not sure. Feels like it though. Uh, but yeah, this was good. I used this in Sentinels too. I still have the head somewhere around here on my desk, but I can't find it right now because of this background that I put up so that you can't see what I'm working on right now. But uh, yeah, the articulation, while good, it's outdated and uh, a lot of paint rub. I mean, it, I, I can do better. I'm going, I have a plan for the next Spider-Man and it, this one should be permanent. This should be the Spider-Man for the Epic Frame universe. But uh, of course, I said that before and I broke the Spidey figure. So yeah, this one is currently fodder. I might actually use this because it is good articulation and it's the Marvel Legends plastic. I don't know what it is about it, but it's good to sculpt on. I know it's like the my uh, epoxy thing adheres better to it, or I don't know, I don't get it, but it works. Both my Moon Knight and Mr. Knight figures are either fodder or already turned into something else. This was the Moon Knight figure. I still have the arms and the head. No, the head I don't have anymore, but I still have the arms, but they are in the fodder bag and I, I don't want to search. I mean, just look at it, it's so crowded. You wouldn't want to search either. But yeah, I don't use this anymore because the articulation was okay, but could be better. And in fact, it is better on the new Disney Plus Marvel Legends Moon Knight. I have that one and I'm using that one. Same goes for Mr. Knight. I used uh, his body to make Dr. Octopus. I would also show you the Rhino figure, but I don't have it because it's in the trash because it fell apart and I can't really do anything with it. So I'm going to need a new Rhino figure if I want to do anything with the Rhino in the future, but I don't know if I want to do that. So I'm spiraling again. I'm beginning to rant again. Let's go on. This video is going to be long already. Of course, as I said, I also lost the SH Figures Custom Spider-Man due to my own mistake. Trying to tighten the articulation on the torso, I didn't do it quite right and the peg snapped and it was gone. Or is it? You'll see in a second. But the suit body, I also had to throw away because it was also falling apart. And the vulture figure. The vulture figure that was based on the first Spider-Man figure that I used in the Toyland Cinematic Universe. This is just, I don't use it anymore. And I don't know what to use it for because the articulation is outdated toy biz joints. I mean, just, just you, you, you can't, you, you really, I mean, you, you, it's not the best, that's what I can say. And of course, since Vulture was blinded in Superior Spider-Man, I, you, you, he can't really do much anymore. So um, that's pretty much the end of the Vulture here. I keep this just in case it might be useful, who knows. Now, two more things, two figures that I have made and are custom. Two figures that I upgraded, I don't know how to call this, but they are going. I'm going to start with them. This. The new vector, basically the old vector, but with added articulation by using the shoulder plates. Well, shoulder plates are not part of the articulation, but I'm proud of this. These are the shoulder plates from the old Batman figure that I made. And the articulation, I don't know if you can tell, 
Those are Lego joints. Yep, straight up Lego. And it works. And I'm happy with it. I am going to update this again to a version, I don't know, 4 will it be? But so, uh, so far this does the trick very well. You can see him in um, Sentinels 2. That's where he comes up. Now I'm going to show you this figure. I'm not going to tell you who he is because it's uh, again quite a big spoiler. If you get it, again, don't say who it is, just be proud of yourself because uh, you are a big fan of the channel it means. Oh, oh wow, he's big. Yeah, this is basically what I made with the Infinity Ultron parts. Very, very great metallic finish. This is not what um, it looked like when I bought it. I repainted every bit of metal on him. So yeah, this is one custom that I'm very proud of. I also repainted, repurposed, retooled the base male body that I used in Superior Spider-Man for both um, Peter and Harry. It's now much more Peter fo focused. Uh, because I mean, used it for him in Sentence 2. It looks like this. Uh, of course, it's scratched a bit. I don't know why this body always attracts scratches and paint rubs. Just n I literally left this on the shelf ever since I finished filming, and that appeared out of, no out of nowhere. You explain because I <laughs> I've given up. And if you have a keen eye, you might notice the colors are inspired from the Spectacular Spider-Man show. And yeah, I gave Peter a new head because the old one wasn't made of epoxy, was made of actual Play-Doh painted over it, so it kept uh, changing shape, which is not good, obviously. So this one is from epoxy and it's actually looking a bit better in my opinion. So if you were wondering what happened to the old Spider-Man after I broke its torso, it became Spider-Man. Well, Spider-Anarchist. Anarchist Spider. I'm still working on the name. This is a Spider-Man uh, pretty much invented, created by my brother uh, who does the voice for Vector and Trero and Matt Murdock. I guess I'm guessing he's a big punk fan, which uh, I guess he gets from me. And this is quite a cool design. A lot of hidden details like this uh, Molotov cocktail, the pouches, the, the patches and the pouches. Wow, that's a, those are really similar words. The anarchy symbol on the helmet with spikes, of course, it's a military helmet, as you can tell by this, these are not dog ears. Yeah, even on the back, it's just a proud custom of mine. And of course, I could use the SH Figure's broken body because this is solid, there's no articulation on the torso. Which is unfortunate, but because it is uh, an SH Figure's, it can still get into some decent poses, I guess. I mean, it did just break on camera. But uh, that's due to me not being careful with the articulation. There you go, I fixed it. Nothing a little super glue can fix. And he's as good as new. And now it's time to see another figure that I'm hoping and I'm planning to have it be the permanent figure of that character. Or at least the, main, the permanent main figure for the character. Bobo Shantai. On the movie Sonic body from Jack Pacific. Repainted beautifully, even uh, modded the shoes so they are yellow to fit uh, Bubo. The head is fully repainted and quite a good job, if I do say so myself. The articulation is, of course, better and sturdier. This is a newer figure, so it's not going to just turn itself into molten plastic, basically. So, this is going to stand the test of time. This is going to be great, and it just stands out even a lot easier than the other bubbles that I had. So it's just win-win. Here are his old shoes uh, based on Jordans. So if anyone wants to give me $250 for them, you know, the Shantai exclusives, uh, I'm willing to uh, ship this away to you. Right, another one you might, uh, might be excited, uh, sorry, to see. Deadpool. I made Deadpool quite early in the year out of a basic toy of Captain America, of course heavily modified, but it has surprisingly good articulation. I mean, it's quite good. Uh, of course, that's inevitable. Of course, there's going to be paint drop there. The plastic is also different from Marvel Legends, but I think I did great with the head sculpt, if I'm honest. One thing I'm missing for this guy uh, are, accessory, are accessories. I don't have guns, I don't have swords for him. And of course, I'm missing um, the sword holder. But he 
It looks quite quite good. Let me move the camera further behind. Uh, yeah, that's a bit far. But anyways, I can do this now. We, whoa! Technology is amazing. As I said, I used the old suited body for uh, the old uh, Mr. Knight body to make Doctor Octopus. Octopus. I keep forgetting to switch mics and in English. Anyways, I used that for Doctor Octopus, and then I also scrapped that immediately after the movie because Doc Ock is dead to make the new male suited body currently on Tony Stark currently falling apart because I guess that just runs in the family with suited bodies on this channel but it's looking quite okay and uh, I can easily fix that so no biggie and the new improved Harley Quinn with the new Haley Steinfeld head for her come on focus you dingus will you focus please yeah anyways you can you can see it pretty much uh great articulation great proportions great face because the one that actually shows up in shantai was hand sculpted by me that's why it doesn't look so good and i only had Haley after uh shooting for shantai was finished for a long time so i couldn't really re reshoot it in time because i also had to leave for uni so yeah this is going to be the harley from now on Definitive. I don't want to change this one. I really like it. And I don't... I like this, I think, more than any Harley figure on the market. Like, from an actual manufacturer. Which is great, because I made this myself. And thus, I'm proud of it. This is going to be a big boy. This is Null. Oh, he's got a twisted ankle. This is Null. And, oh, he's actually quite big. I mean, these are my hands. And my hands are quite big. If you couldn't tell by my ratio of finger to palm. Uh, I got Null in a two-pack. Funny story. I went into this like retail second-hand store that resells uh, things from other people. And I saw that I had on clearance the Venom and Null two-pack. And I bought it. I impulse bought it, of course. For Venom. Because I wanted a new Venom figure. Fun fact, it had Null, of course, because you can see him. And Spider-Gwen. Uh, Spider Venom, or just Venom, whatever. Venomized Spider Gun, no Venom. <laughs> that, that's quite a funny story if you ask me. But it all turned out alright because now that um, Gwenom is the Harley Quinn. Yay. A bit of a spoiler alert if I'm honest, uh, but uh, Icebreaker is no more because I turned him into him, Logius. At this point, I haven't introduced who Logius is. Because I haven't posted episode 3 of Trio. But this is pretty much the leader of Robotia before Trio. Uh, made out of the Icebreaker figure with a custom head that is articulated. And with this battle axe. Right, next one is a character that only showed up in the Sentinels too. Clint Barton. Well, he wasn't Clint Barton in the movie. But uh, I have the figure because I needed the Ultron part. Why is he on the shelf and not in the fold fodder bin well I have all the parts of him and I can use him as a regular human being while I used uh, Haley's head for height uh, for Harley and she hugs part uh, parts for something else you're going to see a bit later but yeah it's a good figure it's actually really well articulated I don't know if they intended this but I think he yeah he has neck articulation wait let me, let me pop his head off so that it, it's more clear I mean, he, he can move his neck quite far down, but also a bit up. You can notice that it's uh, protruding out a bit. And that's really good articulation. He can get into a flying pose better than my Iron Man. And that's quite concerning. And he can also look down a lot, a lot. Yeah, he can definitely be the depressive boy. Great figure. Really, really good figure by Hasbro. Congrats to them. Now, two of my favorite figures that I own, uh, one more favorite than the other, if that makes sense. I like one more than the other. I have more fun with it and I'm more proud of it. First of all, the Disney Plus Mr. Knight, the in his full white and a bit of dirt. What? How did that get there? Okay, it's mostly out. In his all white glory. I still find it weird, but also interesting, but mostly weird, that they used this kind of sandals loafers 
for him instead of suit shoes. But yeah, it's it's Mr. Knight, so uh, I like him. It's a good figure. Uh, kind of thin arms for my liking, uh, uh, mostly for the from the front, from the side it looks okay. But now for one of my all-time favorite customs so far at least, this repainted Mr. Knight. I think I did a great job. I, I inspired myself off of uh, Can I Make It, a great customizer, a great, a very talented painter. Uh, and he's even got a custom cloth cape because I didn't really vibe with the uh, plastic one. Great articulation on him. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the apron being a bit uh, hindered by that part right there on his armor. But I really like this figure and it came with great accessories. The moon ranks and the batons. No, the batons came with Mr. Knight, but still, this is a great figure and I really uh, recommend everyone to get this because it's awesome. And of course, I figure I should show you Molten Man. He appeared in Superior Spider-Man and Shantai. Yeah, he is made out of an old Power Ranger. This part of him is quite loose and uh, he's currently in the fodder bin because he's hard to make to, to get to stand. I mean, you can you can tell. But uh, good, good uh, paint job, good um, coloring in my opinion on the flaming parts. You can't really tell, my lamp is not doing me any favors today. But yeah, back in the fodder, back he goes. Right, next two are two figures that I don't know much about. First up is this Jason Voorhees. Voorhees? I don't know, I, I haven't watched any of the movies. I don't watch horror movies. Technically from NECA, but uh, maybe the more keen-eyed out of you might have guessed. He's a bootleg. I got scammed. I bought this second hand when I bought it. Uh, this was a bootleg. It's still a really good bootleg though. I mean, it's not uh, too, loo too loose, it's tense, it's uh, well painted, perhaps apart from the hair right there. The face is still terrifying. Uh, that's why he's got a mask though. So yeah, uh, I think, yeah, even if it's a bootleg, I think it's a good bootleg. And the other figure, this one is not a bootleg, bootleg is uh, Freddy Krueger without the hat because I lost the hat. I, I lost it. I don't know where it is. I might have to sculpt, sculpt a new one. Of course, again from NECA. He's got a bit of a loose foot here in the left one, but he stands okay. His articulation is decent. Uh, he came with a ton of accessories. I mean a ton of accessories. Quite quite a lot. Very well sculpted, very well painted, as you expect from NECA. Yeah, just a good figure to have. I had plans for this guy to appear in a movie at some point. I don't know if that's still going to happen. Maybe if you guys really want to see it, I mean. But yeah, I don't know much about him. I have done some research, but I don't know much about him. But I know people love him. And he's rocking the Kurt Cobain top. Please, please understand that it's a joke. I know Kurt was with black lines. And uh, now this is a figure, well, it's a character more that I uh, waited a long time to introduce. Norman's Green Goblin, because in Superior Spider-Man we saw his son's hair is Green Goblin, which I, th I still think it's a great design that I made. Uh, this is more inspired by the Raimi version, and in a way even the new 2024 Ultimate Spider-Man version. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Insomniac version looks similar to this in the way that it's still goblin-like but armored. He appears in Sentinels 2 as the main villain. Uh, this was also an old Power Rangers figure with good articulation. I mean, just look at this. I added this ball joint there. Of course, Lego again. Apparently they work quite well with Marvel Legends. That's Epoxy. And it just pops on. And he's got waist articulation. A pretty good custom. I like it. I'm especially proud of the head. This is the last custom I did in 2023. Uh, this is Raven. This uh, is the one that I made out of the Kamala Khan body. As you can tell, uh, this ridge in the back is uh, where the glue was put for the... Wait, I'm actually going to show you. I find it funny that I said wait when I, I'm just literally going to cut this in the video, so you then don't have to wait. You can see this notch right here on the skirt 
dress. I don't know. I I don't know how women's clothing works, but that notch uh, was glued into that ridge there, and it uh, came on. Uh, but I really wanted the Raven figure, of course, because I grew up with uh, the old Titans cartoon. I am a Raven simp, and I admit it. I'm not ashamed of it. I think everyone is. Of course, it's my design, inspired by some others, but um, I like the belt, I like these on the uh, hands, I like the sleeves separated from the tank top, I like the face, I use the Tatiana Maslany head from the She-Hulk uh, with new hair, and the hair was a hassle to take down. And those boots I also like as well, this is where I used the She-Hulk shoes, you can tell they're a little big, but it fits the, especially the new um, goth emo punk girl aesthetic that you see all over Instagram and TikTok for those who use TikTok. I don't use TikTok. I think this is a good version of Raven. I like it. I wouldn't change anything. I would get a hood, but I currently don't have a hood that fits over that big head of hers. And of course the cape is from Moon Knight. This is the cape that was on Moon Knight. I went to town on it. This is where I cut my finger, actually. True story, I cut my finger while drilling that hole, while drilling, I stabbed it, literally. But yeah, a uh, uh, custom that I'm proud of. Not really a figure, but I have to show him. This is um, Sherlock, he's the detective of the Twilight Police Department. He appears in Sentinels 2, and only there. Yeah, so far. I mean, he's going to show up more, because the Twilight Police Department appears in every main Twilight story, pretty much. And two more figures and the collection balance for uh, 2023 ends. This Goku, made by Bandai, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just check. Well, after checking, I have no idea who made him. I think Bandai, but I'm not sure. Great articulation on him. I don't know why I bought him. I just had the money, and then I didn't have the money, and it was quite uh, hard to get through that month. But I get, got this guy, and he's got great articulation, good accessories, great sculpt, it's just a good figure, and he's got drop-down hips, which is good, which I enjoy. I've currently got him with the Kamehameha hands. I actually don't know much about Dragon Ball. I've only watched the new Dragon Ball Super superhero movie, if that's what it's called, which I did enjoy. I had a lot of fun watching that, so uh, perhaps I should watch the Dragon Ball Z anime but it's it what scares me uh, at all anime not just Dragon Ball is the length because I know that uh, animes usually have quite a lot of filler I'm not saying other shows don't have it but from my experience the filler is quite the filler and the last figure for 2023 is Vincent the rat who appeared in um, Shantai season 3 as the leader of the black ops team Apparently this is a figure of uh, Biker Mice from Mars, missing his antennas, repainted, re-varnished, uh, tightened some joints. Decent articulation, better than uh, I thought it would have when I saw him in the... It was actually a flea market, it wasn't a thrift shop or anything, it was actually a find at the flea market, this guy, and I'm glad with it. He is one of my favorite characters that I've written so far. He's even got a tattoo, and I love tattoos, even I have a tattoo. But uh, this has been it for my collection. I'm going to leave you with this. I've uh, took out the first custom of 2024, well actually not the first, I made two, two of them. Uh, but this is pretty much my collection on my new shelf that I'm displaying it on. Uh, there I got a collection of cards, don't ignore that. And here's to a very good and full of figures 2024. This has been Don Lucio, and goodbye.